Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm getting ready to change the oil on a Volvo 850. It should be the same on a Volvo S70 and several other Volvos. Kind of a straightforward, easy to do thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, here's all the tools you'll need. Oil filter wrench. You want your oil. You want your oil filter. As you can see on my filter, I write the date, the mileage, and the weight oil that I put on there in the type with a Sharpie. Then you want something to catch the oil in, a pair of gloves, 17 millimeter a ratchet wrench. Then I got my oil drain plug gasket and then your oil filter wrench. I also have a towel or so for wiping up uh, your messes and pads while you're crawling around. Last but not least, I put my car up on ramps whenever I do my oil changes. The next thing I do is check my oil. You always want to know how much oil you've lost since the last time you've checked it and how much maybe that you've lost since the last time it was uh, changed. So check your oil level. I'm right at a quart low. I uh, added a quart of oil before I went on a 1300 mile drive. So I'm losing a quart of oil in 1300 miles. That's a little bit excessive. I need to figure out what's going on there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the oil. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the oil cap. Uh, let the air go down in there. You also want to check your seal to see uh, if it's hard. If it's hard and not flexible, you want to go ahead and replace that. You can get them for less than $5 at the dealer or at any parts store that sells foreign car parts. Next thing you want to do is come down under the car. Uh, about a two feet back under the car, you'll see the oil pan. That's the oil filter there. Right on the back side of the oil pan is the nut that needs to be removed. It's a 17 millimeter nut for draining the oil out of the oil pan. So I got my little catch pan under it, and I'm going to go ahead and take that oil plug loose and drain the oil out of the oil pan. It is best to use gloves when you pull this oil pan bolt out. Also, I have the car warmed up, and it's the oil is warm, so I don't want to get burnt. If I drop the oil bolt into the pan, I use a magnet to fetch it out. So I'm going to go ahead and let that drain. And then I'm going uh, to take the oil filter loose here with the oil filter wrench. Because how it's recessed in the oil pan, it's best to use the socket wrench style oil wrench. But I have the uh, strap type, so I'm going to go ahead and break that loose. Okay, while the oil is draining, I'm going to go ahead and prime my oil filter. I have normally fill my oil filter up five times so that it can be full of oil on the first start after I uh, put all the oil in. I don't want my system to have to fill up the oil filter and possibly starve the top of my motor of oil while it's starting up for the first time after the change. All right, you wanna look up there where your oil filter was. Make sure the gasket from the old filter didn't stick on the oil filter housing. And you wanna wipe that down so that it's clean. You also wanna wipe down the uh, oil pan bolt uh, area and go ahead and put that washer in and get ready to put the oil filter on. Okay after you have the oil filter uh, primed with oil pretty much just about full you want to wipe that gasket across the top to make sure that it's wet with oil so when you put it on you uh, won't have a dry gasket against the housing. Okay, I put in my oil drain plug bolt with a new washer. You could torque it to 18 foot pounds, snug it down real tight, however you want to do it. I got my oil filter on. I tightened it until it made contact. Once it made contact, I tightened it up hand tight, which was a little bit more 
then a half a turn. So after it makes contact, you want to get a half to three quarters of a turn on that oil filter, and that'll be tight enough. Next thing you want to do is wipe all the dust out of your funnel and go ahead and add your oil. My car is a 2.3 liter 95 model turbo. I believe it takes six and a half quarts. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these six quarts in and then check it and get it filled to the top. Okay, I got the oil cap on and I'm going to go ahead and start the car, make sure everything is fine. One thing I like to point out about these 850 oil changes is that I only use a, a company called MAN or an OEM oil filter. Volvo's, uh, these five cylinder engines with the double overhead cam, they have a history of uh, having a little bit of problem with the valve stem seals leaking. They also have a little bit of an issue with sometimes the lifters ticking. And I think the oil filter is the primary cause of those problems. When you don't have the proper oil filter, uh, sometimes the oil will drain off of the head. And when you start it, the top of your head, you know, practically gets a dry start. Over the years and years of that happening, that just that little bit of starvation to that head, those uh, valve stem seals and also those lifters uh, will wear out and age a lot faster. I could be wrong, that's just my opinion. So if you got any questions, go ahead and post them, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and check the oil level and add a little bit more oil if it's below a uh, half quart low. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.